Accrual policies automatically calculate time off earned. Two common types of time off are vacation and sick time. You can set up auto accrual policies to calculate accruals for employees based on hire date, trial periods, and seniority. The auto accrual policies wizard in staff files walks you through a series of questions and uses your answers to set up the policies. To set up an auto accrual policy, select accruals and auto accrual policies from the defined menu. Click the add button and the auto accrual policy wizard opens. Enter the accrual account policy name, such as vacation annual plan. and click Next to continue. Select the accrual account this new policy is posted to, such as vacation. When the policy you're adding is based on an existing policy, select the existing policy from the drop-down list. This selection is optional. When you only have a few minor adjustments to make, this can save you time. Select the accrual period or the frequency time off is accrued for this policy. For example, weekly accruals will post accrued time to enrolled employees at the end of each week. You could also create an inactive auto accrual policy using the custom accrual period. When this policy is in effect, no auto accruals will be posted for the employees assigned the custom policy. This type of policy is typically used during short-term disability and maternity leave. For a weekly auto accrual policy, enter the day of the week your pay period ends. For example, select Friday if you pay your employees every Friday. Select the time that identifies the start of the accrual year. The accrual year could begin on a particular month or the anniversary of the hire date. Define the first year only accrual rates for the new policy. This rate applies to new employees who have been with your organization less than one year. In a following step, you'll use the seniority table to define rates for employees that have been with your organization for more than one year. If your policy will use a trial period, select the appropriate trial period length. Most often this applies to new employees. During a trial period, employees accrue time, but it is not awarded until after the trial period is completed. Mark the reset option for a policy that resets its accrual balance at the end of an accrual year. For example, policies that enforce a use it or lose it rule would reset to zero at the end of each accrual year. This is the seniority table. It's used to define the accrual rates for employees enrolled in the new policy after the first year. The rates here are based on their length of employment. If you do not use seniority to calculate accruals, enter a single seniority record to indicate the amount to be accrued after the first year of employment. To add the uh, information to the seniority table, just click the Add button and fill in the fields. Click the Save button and then the Add button again to add the second line of your seniority table. And you can just keep adding as many lines as you'd like. Review your policy summary and click Finish to save the new auto accrual policy. After you set up your auto accrual policies, you'll be ready to enroll employees into those policies. For more information about how Staff Files manages time off accruals, watch the next video to learn how to enroll employees in auto accrual policies.